Welcome back to another episode of Command Center, where we put our favorite commanders, maybe even yours, front and center. That's right, baby. We play EDH, we eat Doritos high. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a sunny, sunny day in Atlanta. All the right. sweet, the sweet chili sauce is it is real. It gets the nachos. Mm. All right, before it gets too weird, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, talk about what we're here for today, Commander. So we brought our boy Nate back to talk about one of his other Commander decks, something that he loves, that he loves to play. Uh, so I say we just jump straight into it. What do you think? Let's do it. That sounds good. This Commander is so sick. I've actually burned his life at least three times. <laughs> this Commander is so sick. I think Nate is showing up with the uh, hospital mask on. It's oh, kind of kind of weird. It, it, here's the kicker: is that it's one that no one ever thinks to play. Like you, everyone looks at it and they're like, "Really?" Because uh, <laughs> because you don't think he'd be very good. The but, drawback uh, on it is strong. All right. The drawback is strong, but the sauce is real. So, so let's just get sauce, into it. What kind of sauce? So, 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 we, uh, so we're gonna start off with uh, with the commander, and that's Malfagor. Malfagor is a, a six a CMC. Uh, Demon Dragon, which is the most metal of subtypes. He's a 6-6 flyer that uh, when he comes into play, I have to throw away my hand, so everyone sacrifices a creature for each card I discard that way. Yeah. This guy's reckless. He just <laughs> throws away his creatures, throws away his hand, like, I don't need it. Whatever. And so a lot of this stuff is based around uh, discarding. So it's a very heavy discard outlet and um, there's the I'm running joke that Malfagor is the bus driver and we're gonna go around and round the wheels And so we're gonna start off with actually the wheels of the deck and that is literally the wheels of the deck We have wheel of fate magus of the wheel uh, Runehorn Hellkite and Dragon Mage. Are you hearing this? Like the all, wheels on the bus. The go wheels round, on the bus round. go round and round. As and we so, go straight down the highway to hell. And so, <laughs> with all of these drawing a card effects, I'm also focusing more so on the discard effects. So I play cards like Waste Knot, which is insane. And thank you, Magic Community, for inventing one of the best. Black enchantments, probably. Let's, let's just game. run through Waste Knot real quick. It's a lot so, there. So Waste Knot's a lot. First of all, it's a two mana. It's a lot of play. Two man. mana. Uh, one black, one colorless. When an opponent discards a card uh, that's a creature, I make a 2-2 two -two zombie. He gets zombies. Um, if they discard a land card, I add two black mana. He gets mana. If I, an opponent discards non-creatures and non-land, so instant sorceries or enchantments, I draw a card. He's refilling his hand. You know and so just... when you combine Waste Knot with a wheel effect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you're getting a, like a wheel of fade off on turn four suspended with mm -hmm. a waste not out, I mean sometimes people are discarding up to six cards. Yeah. And I mean that's per person. So everyone's discarding their hand. They're happy because they're drawing a full seven. You're ecstatic because you're drawing like 35. <laughs> um, this is disgusting, man. And so with with those with the discard effects, you need to have some sort of way to punish them. So I play things like Liliana's Caress. Uh, which says that whenever an opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. I always play one of the newer ones called uh, Raider's Wake, um, and that is that's really cool too. But that has a raid effect that causes them to discard. Now, what's raid? Um, raid is a keyword that says if a creature attacked this turn, it does the ability. So in this instance, it forces like if I attack with a creature, it forces that opponent to discard a card. Um, but I really focus it for the lose two life effect. Other than that, um, we play a lot of other features as far as random discard outlets. So Bottomless Pit says at the beginning of each player's upkeep they discard. It's in Oppression, the which says whenever a player successfully casts a spell they discard. It's in the title. Um, <laughs> uh, Necrogen Mist, which is just another form of the Bottomless Pit. Um, so it's a lot of discard outlets, and so with all this discarding and wheeling and stuff, what I'm trying to do is set up a big play with either a Rise of the Dark Realms, mm -hmm. which puts all creature cards from all graveyards into the battlefield under my control. The man has a plan. And so you're, you're constantly wheeling, everyone's, everyone's filling up their graveyards kind of equally. You're filling up your graveyard really fast, right, right. and so you're just dumping them all out. I played this card one time. I woke up three months later in a coma. It was, it's incredible. <laughs> Another big feature that I also run is the Sangromancer. And Sangromancer is an <sighs> insane card with this deck. Look, look, look. I've never seen Rakdos gain life before. With Sangromancer, though, I've seen this deck hit like 200 plus life. Sangromancer is the saint of life game. 
And it, it's, it's in just black. Crazy. It's insane. insane. What does he do? So so she's a she's a four mana three three flyer. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, I gain three life. Yep. Three life. Whenever an opponent discards a card, gain three life. So again, if you're wheeling everyone for seven cards, yep. all right, I'm gonna gain twenty one off your your wheel. I'm gonna gain twenty one off your wheel, and I'm gonna gain twenty one off all your it takes wheel. Is one. And it's just one wheel effect. It's just yeah. disgusting. Um, I also run things like um, the Black Primordial, um, and so he's. Cool. Uh, he is insane too. The what fact that he basically is a mini Rise of the Dark Realms. When he enters the battlefield, you take one creature from each opponent's graveyard, put it down the field, and it stays there. Man, it goes fishing in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. This is just rude. <laughs> and then um, the other big key key parts that I really like running um, is Angrath, the Flame Chain. He's actually one of the newer additions, but he's insane. Just the ability to plus one, have everyone discard a card, uh -huh. um, and then his minus eight, which is everyone loses life based on the number of cards in their graveyards. True. And so you're just, you know, you're wheeling everyone away, and all of a sudden, oh, my Angrath is going to ultimate and do 50 to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that ever happens, what's the message? The right hand grips the table, mm -hmm. the left hand up the floor. Let's sit. <laughs> um, Sire of Insanity is another staple for this deck. Um, the fact that it constantly makes everyone play Hellbent, which is something that a lot of decks don't want to do, but my deck doesn't really now, here's care. Now, Sire of Insanity is not just your and stuff, it's everyone's. Everyone's. Discard. Discard. So, so, okay, if you even have your Consecrated Sphinx or something like that, sure, you're going to draw all your cards, but at the end of your turn, you're going to have to throw them all away. You know what I do with this? I pick up my Relicory Tower, I go to the bathroom, and I give you a good, nice cleaning session with it, because it's completely useless. Worthless. <laughs> um, oh my then, god, Jacob Taxes. Jacob Taxes is useless. Yep, gone. Worthless. <laughs> and so one of my, uh, the last cards I want to talk about is uh, Guest Grimoire. And uh, this card says, whenever an opponent discards a card, you draw a card. Um, and also one of the other ones that I wanted to talk to you about was Library of Lang, which basically says if, you're, if you were to discard a card, you just revealed the, that many cards off the top of your, of your library. And you can put them right back on top of the library. Right, yeah. right. And so with Malfagor, his ability where I have to discard my hand, yeah. if I have Library of Lang out, I you can just set him on top of your library. Right, I just set him on top of my library, and yeah. it's it's really, really cool you how mean, they interact. You mean rude. Very rude. Yeah, Very much you so. are, And I find this much, a lot ruder than Mill. With Mill, it's like, okay, top of library, graveyard. You're actually holding it in your head. And so... You're watching the possibilities go in the trash can. And so with uh, the two-headed giant format really kicking up, I have a really fun story about the uh, time I played Mouth Gore. My buddy plays a Nekusar deck. Right, of course. Um, and so the Nekusar deck is constantly getting people to draw your cards. Yeah. And my, my abilities are all about Just discarding them. So, so if you didn't have a card that let you not have a max hand size yeah you're like all right you're gonna draw 15 cards this turn take 15 for drawing your card and uh you're also gonna have to take two for each one of your discarding at the end of the turn so what we learned here today folks is do not play two headed giant with Nate and <laughs> now my question is you two headed giant wouldn't that hurt your partner as well um so it physically says opponents okay so um on the, like the mcgrim effects and liliana's crest it specifically says your opponent. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, same thing for Nekusar. Nekusar deals so, damage to your opponents. Gotcha. Yeah. So it yeah. doesn't it doesn't count teammates, which is really yeah. is really cool how they synergized. Um, I definitely think that he's not like the strongest of the Rakdos commander colored commanders. Um, I know Rakdos Lord of Riots. You can get Eldrazi out for of course nothing. That's like, my guy. Like. Ragdoll's is my guy. Like I know, he's in the deck. He's really good in the ninety nine too. So that's where I put him. Um, but I really like the madness theme, the um, the rotate effect, um, and just catching everyone off guard when you know I drop Malfagor and throw six cards away, and they have their Addison and a couple angels out, and then they get <laughs> really sad. I do, I really like where the deck is at right now because it's it's it stays on theme of keeping everyone hell bent and. Mm -hmm. Kind of focuses on that, but if you if it, if the world out there has any uh, any suggestions for this deck, I'm definitely more than more than happy to take them. So put them down in the comments below. So yeah, uh, if you have any suggestions for Malfi Gore or Malfi G, as Nate likes to call them, mm -hmm. uh, let let us know. Send us some information. I actually uh, got one thing, a suggestion: take a trash can, throw it in, and <laughs> burn your clothes after and sit in the fetal position, <laughs> and you, you salt the earth. <laughs>
So that's been Ken's experience with Malcolm Gore. Let us know what your experience has been with Malcolm Gore, whether you play against him or play Malcolm Gore uh, yourself. Uh, let us know in the comments. So uh, I and think we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, yeah. And if you have played against Malcolm Gore, just show us on the doll where he touched you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, just, just let us know in the comments uh, your experience. Uh, let us know if you want to see a full deck tech. Uh, Nate will get that out to you. Uh, we'll put that up on the website. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. Uh, tell people about us. Um, keep looking out for more content from us. Uh, we have some exciting things coming up. So for everyone who's recently subscribed, uh, thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at your channels as well. But uh, I think we should head out here because Malfagor is giving me a headache. Uh, just look at it. All right, you guys. Peace.